Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, this is the same motor that we talked about last night. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous video, I would suggest um, going to that one first. Um, as an overview, um, this is just a simple pulse motor. We have optical timing. Uh, we have a simple little MOSFET circuit to run. Um, black and red, 12 volt battery. Uh, yellow and white is output through capacitor amp meter and then to the load which is going to be the light. Um, the rotor is consists of two one inch by one inch neo magnets um, top and bottom and then the middle is just a soft iron so when you have the soft iron in the middle these magnets turn into one magnet because it attracts through and makes into one big magnet uh, which makes this effect better. Um, this coil is about 80 turns of 18 gauge wire and um, how the timing works is let's turn this on just a little bit we have a pulse with modulator so we'll turn this on just a little bit so you could hear it and you'll be able to see it with the light bulb so the timing works like this as it comes around that's where it turns on and then lines up and then turns off so watch the red dot on off on off so it's really critical it's really critical that you turn off right here uh, if you don't turn off right here it's going to want to pull it back and it's going to slow the motor down so you have to have it just a little bit before center to turn off and then you can make it turn on wherever you want over here from here to here um, and then this side is all off so it's only about 40% on or less, about 30%. Um, so today we're going to be doing the load. So we're going to be running this light bulb. And um, I have an analog meter so you can see a little more accurately what the fan is using. And, and then this is going to be the amp meter for the light. So um, let's hop right in and start this thing up. So this is a 6 watt 12 volt, 24 volt light LED. And uh, we're going to bring it up to about a half an amp. So a half an amp is, is right around 500. Just a hair more. Right there. So it's right around 500 RPMs. And um, so you could run the fan and then you could have the output. But what's interesting is, you know, we're using right about almost exactly half an amp. Uh, the output's almost 250 milliamps. And the capacitor's right around 12.6, 12.5. So right now we're running. We we're actually using about 50% of the energy. So the motor is using six watts. Um, we're making three watts for free. So pretty neat. So you could run this light and it it doesn't um, endanger the power of the motor or anything like that. But here's something else. We're gonna turn this down a little bit for this effect. Bear with me here. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to disconnect the output and you can see what happens so the motor slows down amperage is a little bit less but well, what some people don't understand is we're going to put a load in here basically as a direct current and this is a big no-no on -no pulse motors so watch what happens with the amp meter So we're using way, way more power. So no direct shorts. If you want to use the output, um, you should run it through a capacitor to condense the spikes a little bit. And then have a, a good high resistance load like a light bulb or a battery. Uh, because if you do 
you try to direct short it like a regular generator, it's just going to have that kind of effect. It's just going to slow the motor down and you use a whole bunch of juice. And then if you set up this way, it's like the light bulb isn't even connected to the motor. The motor runs smooth and you get, you know, 50% of the energy back to use with something else. In this case, the light bulb. But it could be a battery or light bulb into a battery in series. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Hope you enjoyed it.